Yoid is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be doing a gameplay of the new Diamond Donovan Mitchell and NBA 2K23, my team. Now, here's the deal, guys. I've been grinding on Donovan Mitchell, and you guys will see kind of how far I've came on my road to 250K episode today. But for me, I'm trying to grind it all out while grinding domination, and that's probably not the most efficient way to make this happen. But you guys can come in here and see the completed season agendas. If you do complete all five of these things, which is gonna take you probably seven hours or so if you strictly focus on this, it's going to take you a while, but you have the whole entire week to do it. The hardest ones, I would say, are the steals, and then obviously the points with Jazz players, and then the 129 three-pointers with Cavs players. That's probably the biggest challenge. Double-doubles, I've gotten done in domination. Those have been relatively easy. Same thing with the dunks. It's really the steals that take the most time. But here's what we're looking at with Donovan Mitchell. Shout out to Clutch City Dimer. 6-1. 215 pounds for Donovan Mitchell, an 89 three ball, which is absolutely elite. 90 driving dunk, 88 ball handler, defensively 80 block, 88 steel, 88 perimeter, 79 interior, 93 speed, 90 lateral quickness. Badge wise, three out of favors, fast switch, limitless takeoff, quick first step, 16 gold badges, 16 on silver, with eight bronze badges as well. Now, when we look at Donovan Mitchell, we got to see how many of these badges are truly upgradable. And it looks like most of the bronzes are upgradable, but a lot of the silvers aren't. You can give him Limitless, you can give him Dimer, you can give him Needle Threader, Clamps, Unpluckable, those type of badges, even Ankle Braces. I mean, he's going to have, I think, those five badge spots. That's something I look at for Donovan Mitchell is making sure you do badge him up. I mean, uh, because he can and does need those specific badges. You can make the case that a fully badged up Donovan Mitchell is one of, if not the best point guard in the entire game. For Donovan Mitchell here, what you're looking at is he does have the Dame moving behind the back, which I personally think is solid. He does come with the jaw dribble style. Now, am I really high on the jaw dribble style? I don't really know as of now, I would say. I mean, again, for me, it's just kind of that feeling out process. One thing I would say about Donovan Mitchell is I like his release. And, and that's just from me using the Emerald from grinding domination. I really like his release. Is it the quickest? No. But how many guys have this quick of a jump shot? Yeah, I know it's not the quickest, but I would say it's above average for quickness right now in my team. And is that saying that much? I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. But I mean, it's not slow to say the least. Again, you give him limitless, I think you're going to really like Donovan Mitchell. Hot spots from three to five places around the arc as well. And just movement-wise with Mitchell, I think a lot of people are going to be pretty impressed with just his movement, motion style, all those types of things here as we are getting into it. For me, defensively, obviously Donovan Mitchell is not going to be the best, but I don't think he's horrible, right? You got to give him clamps. Obviously, his you know, interior perimeter steel ratings are all just fine. Speed and lateral quickness are fine as well. So I think for right now, we don't have that many great point guards in my team. And the fact that he's a free option is absolutely unbelievable right now in NBA 2K23, my team. This new Clutch City Dimer is an absolute sweat. I mean, this guy is 38 and three right now i mean he is an absolute sweat let's see if donovan mitchell can lead us to another win my opponent's team i gotta say is pretty solid now right now the problem with running small guards i've seen it a lot with people who run steph curry is that i mean they get shot over and so you really just i mean in this situation you gotta leave donovan mitchell on a guy like steph curry and just hope for the best i mean that's really what you're looking at but look at him on the first possession straight by Steph Curry, rising up for the one-handed jam. That's great defense. Great defense. You can't play better defense. Up to Donovan. You green in? Green. He green. Oh, slightly late. My fault. That's a good shot, though. You, he's shooting anything right now. My opponent is shooting anything. Get it to Boncaro. Yep. Hey, Boncaro. Chill. Come here. I just dogged him. I just dogged him. I missed it, but that was not even a bad look right there. I just got, I got to get in my comfort zone. I'm not comfortable right now, and it's just, I got to get there, man. It's simple. Green. Good shot there. Yo, green, Ty. It's too deep. 
That's too deep. My fault. Yo, Gobert is just snagging. Gobert is just snagging right now. Oh, my gosh. Toasty. Woo. Good move, Dono. Nice little spin move. I can't even sit here and up in front of you guys and say I tried to do that. Like, I, I tried to do a contact dunk, but I guess this spin move will work, man. Hey, yup. Just that's the one thing I'm noticing with Mitchell. Obviously, right now, I don't know his release, okay? As, as I'm early with that. I don't know the releases. I'm, it's all going to be kind of a, a getting used to process. But what I can say is that attacking the rim, it doesn't matter. It's it's too easy to attack the rim with him. It's just too easy. Everything you just blow right by your opponent and it's, it's honestly just the dunk on every single possession if you want it to be. Now, again, if you want to try out the range, that should be green. Thank you. Finally for Donovan Mitchell. He's got silver interceptor showing it off right there into a green light. I feel like this is going to be a common theme. Opponents are going to get tired of Donovan Mitchell relatively quickly, and that's exactly what happened right there. And you can say whatever you want about, oh, the grind is hard. It is. You're right. But you get a good free card in my team. And I can't overstate that, man. Donovan Mitchell is good. Obviously, we'll, we'll talk, you know, more in depth about how good he truly is. But man, the card is good right now. That, that's all I'm. That's all I'm seeing. We're gonna play clutch time online just to make sure he's the real deal. But right now, who's all, who's some other top point guards? I mean, obviously you got the trophy cases, Derrick Rose, Steve Francis. You got Pink Diamond, Steph. But outside of those guys, I mean, it, Donovan Mitchell's right up there with. Them. Here, are my opponent, John Morant, Luka Doncic. Okay, he's got a decent team, and I probably should get in a freelance. And after a couple possessions, I'll probably get so mad I'll get in a freelance. But we're gonna ride it out, see what happens for Donovan Mitchell here. I got Blake Griffin too. Now nah, my team is souped. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? That's ah, way early. My fault. That's, gosh, he's disrespecting me. He's disrespecting you, Ty. That's cool. Just keep letting it fly, baby. You got to get the release down eventually, right? I mean, that's the way I look at it. Come on, Dono. Yup, good behind the back. Good. Yup, go dunk on him. I wish I had a popper on the other end of it. It would be a lot easier offensively, but we'll make it work. Green. That's way early. I, I just, I, I, I greened it, man. But I just feel like shooting is so inconsistent. I just don't know right now. Uh-oh, get it to him. Hey, Donovan, just, I gotta, I gotta bail out, man. If he's gonna collapse like he has been, just bail out, man. Knock down some threes. He's gonna stop collapsing eventually. Uh, eventually. That's just a fact, run. Come here. All right, we'll be better now. Yep, come on. Like, dude doesn't even want to guard anybody else on the court. I can see it, though, just because of his badge count. I can definitely see that being true, but I wouldn't necessarily go ahead and, and say all that yet. Green, good shot, Dono. Slightly late. Okay, you gotta release it way earlier than you think if you got on early timing with him. Cause I didn't. I would. I still thought that was early. Maybe I see it though. Again, it's the difference between offline and online too. Hey, yup, tear off the rim, contact dunk, man, for Donovan Mitchell. I needed that one. It is important to know, guys. You can get Donovan Mitchell off RNG. I kind of forgot to mention that. That's green. At the start of the video, I mean, you can get lucky, similar to Lamar Odom, and get him out of the vault, get him out of stuff. It's very unlikely. That's why I basically just mentioned the grind behind it, because the odds of you getting him out of, like, a vault is just so, so unlikely. That's green. Good shot. Y'all see my green with Dono, though? That was tough. I kind of like the what 2K is doing with these rewards, right? They're, like, updating them pretty constantly, and I feel like I'm, I haven't talked about it, and I don't know if anybody else has talked about it. But they've been updating them pretty. I mean, we got one last Thursday and we're getting a new one in Donovan Mitchell Tuesday. Like, we might get one Friday. I mean, this could be fire for the community if this, you know, stays up to date. Dono from way downtown. He doesn't even have Limitless yet and he is still greening that, which is just crazy. I think I found that release timing and I hope it's here to stay because, man, if I can green shots like that, yo, that's way too fast. Why is it so different though? I just don't understand. Oh my gosh, Don. He the Don. He literally, anytime he gets that slow release, it's green for me. It's the problem is when he gets that really quick one and I'm not ready for it, I just simply don't green. Remember, this is Donovan Mitchell without Limitless, without some of those badges that might make him green even more of these types of shots, which is just crazy that I've knocked down how many four-pointers 
And just to know, that's not even him at his best, right? I mean, that's just crazy to even think about going to the rim. You might get a foul call. There's no saying you can't play Donovan Mitchell, Mitchell at the shooting guard position right now. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that because I think you definitely can play him at that shooting guard position alongside a Steph Curry, alongside a Derrick Rose if you have him, those type of cards. Donovan Mitchell in this game alone single-handedly carried me to the win. I mean, say whatever you want about the card. In this game specifically, single-handedly carried me to the win. He had 16 points. I know I wasn't that efficient, but part of that's my fault too. I mean, I had how many four-pointers? I had a one four-pointer. That's tough for a guy with no range. And so like I have mentioned, you can get lucky and get Donovan Mitchell off boards. Now, are you probably going to get lucky and get Donovan Mitchell off boards? I'd say probably not. You could, but it's probably, oh my gosh. Why did I think I got him? The odds are you're probably never going to get him. So if you really want Donovan Mitchell, my best suggestion is to start grinding these things out. Now, what's the best method to do it? There's plenty of uh, you know ways to go about you know how you specifically do it. For me, I'm just trying to do it while I grind domination. So I'm running Darius Gunn at the point guard, Emerald Donovan at the shooting guard, and I've gotten a lot of these things done. The one that I'm kind of behind on is the you know 129 threes as well as the steals, but it's a grind. There's no way about it. You get trophies along the way. You get you know a diamond Donovan Mitchell who right now is a I I'm not I'm gonna say him and him and Steph are equal. I'm not even gonna talk about Derrick Rose. Not even gonna talk about Steve Francis because that's a whole nother thing and he's probably near that level. But my question to you guys would be this. Would you rather grind seven hours for Donovan Mitchell or, or, or if they are the same level, which I think they're pretty similar, or would you rather pay 200, 300,000 MT for Pink Diamond Steph Curry? You guys do the math. MT is the most valuable thing you can have right now in my team. To me, I think Donovan Mitchell is definitely worth the grind. And that's going to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully each and every guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. As always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.